Rx transaction search results can now be customized in Pioneer Rx. To begin your search from the Pioneer Rx screen, click on the binoculars located next to the Edit Rx button on the ribbon bar. This will bring you to the Rx transaction search screen where you can specify your search parameters. You can choose to search by Rx related items, patient information, prescriber details, prescribed item, or dispensed item. I'll choose to search for RX items that were changed within a specific date range by clicking on the calendar icons located next to the correlating fields. Once I have my date selected, I hit F12 to begin my search. When the search is completed, you'll be taken automatically to the Results tab. Here you have many options. You have the option to filter or total your data. You can add a new Rx transaction and you can edit records all from this screen. You can also choose how to view your results. Default views are basic or expanded. But Pioneer allows you to create your own layout which we will discuss in later videos. You can change the order of the columns by clicking on the column headers and dragging them where you would like them placed. I'll take the dispensed item column and move it to the left of the prescribed item column. I can order as many columns as I choose. The size of each column can be customized according to your preference. Locate your mouse on the border of the column you wish to resize until the cell selection tool appears. It kind of looks like a plus sign. Be sure the field that you're going to be resizing is highlighted. Then click and hold the column's border with your mouse and drag it to the desired width. To use the automatic sizing feature, double click on the right border of the column header. Let's examine our grid. When you scroll the window to the right, you hardly know what information correlates to what script. Let's freeze the columns listing our patients' names and Rx numbers so those columns don't disappear while scrolling. A pin icon is located inside each column. Click on the pin that correlates to the column you want to freeze. Notice that the columns you pin move to the leftmost position on your grid. Now as I scroll through the columns, the patient and Rx number columns remain in place. To freeze a row in place, the same concept applies. Pin the row you want to stay in view and scroll through your data. At times you may need to sort your data by a particular column or columns. To sort your grid by one column, let's say prescriber, click on that column header. An arrow will appear. When the arrow is pointed up, Data is in ascending order. Click on the title again to change to descending order. The arrow will change as well. Data can also be sorted by multiple columns. To sort using more than one column, click on the header of the first column you would like to sort. Hold down the shift key while clicking on the second column. We want our report sorted according to patient and then Rx number. As you can see, our columns are now sorted by patient first and then Rx number. Columns will be sorted according to which column you click first, second, third, and so on.